So recently they've just released an app on the App Store called Gridly. Uh, this is an arcade game actually which is emulated on the iPad. Uh, the emulation is actually based on the main emulator. So if you go into the App Store and search for Gridly you see here it's actually an arcade game that I've never even heard of. Okay, as well as loading up. Now, Gridly, as I said, was based on the main emulator, and it's based on version 0.139 update 1. Uh, so, it lets you play Gridly on your iPad. But one of the other things it lets you do is actually play other main ROMs. Uh, let me show you Gridly here. So that's the game running, put some money in, and we'll start it up. I've never actually played Gridly before, I have no idea what sort of game it is. Um, I believe it's a quite a rare game that not many people have actually heard of. Um, I don't know what I'm doing here, I'm just a little green guy shooting things. These are things are bad at me. Oh. So now we've got Gridly onto the, our iPad, we need to get the ROMs from our computer onto the iPad as well. Uh, make sure actually make sure you download Gridly as soon as possible because uh, we're not sure how long that will be on the App Store and in the past uh, Apple have pulled emulators for that reason. So I'm gonna connect up the iPad using our telepin connector. Uh, iTunes is gonna pop up here so we're gonna close that off. Um, so I've got the ROMs here um, for MAME 0 0.139 update 1 and we need to get them on the iPad as I said. And we're going to use a program called iFunbox. So iFunbox is available on free on the web and when we open it up you can see on the left hand side we have user applications and then we select Gridly and in there will be a documents folder and then you see a bunch of folders which actually match the file structure for main. So we're interested in the ROMs folder here. And in there you can see there's the gridly.zip, which is the ROMs for the Gridly game. So I'm going to add a few other games to that. I'm going to add Bomb Jack here because I'm a big fan of that. And I've taken Street Fighter 2 as well. So now they're added to the iPad, we're going to check out the emulator on the iPad. So now we've added the ROMs, we've got to reset Gridly, so I'm going to multitask the menu, hold on Gridly, and kill the app. And then we're going to open Gridly now, so instead of opening the game, we're going to get a menu. So you can see now, we've got Bomb Jack, Gridly, and Street Fighter 2, which is the ROMs we added. So let's hit the B button to start Bomb Jack. And it's going to ask me um, if I have permission. I'll say OK by pressing left, then right. And stop, and that's running bomb jack. So this is just a uh, ROM initialization. Okay, that's initialized. Put some money in, and let's start. So. I'd be like kind of bomb jack, but unfortunately, because it's a touch screen, I don't have as much control as I would like. So, what would be better if we had had some physical physical controls? Exit that, and I'll show you Street Fighter as well. Well, it's a bit twitchy, but. Uh, Let's see if we can select it. There we go. Now, Street Fighter 2 is actually a landscape game, so it would be work better in landscape mode. So that's Street Fighter 2 loaded up. Let's put some money in. And we'll hit start. Street Fighter 2 arcade version running on an iPad.
Apparently the buttons are mapped incorrectly, so that's your light punch, there's your medium kick, and that's your light kick. It's completely wrong. For pressing coin and start together, you can enter the menu and we can change settings for the game. And you can define the buttons as you want them. But to be honest, playing on a touchscreen isn't the greatest thing. So we're gonna look at something called the iCade to improve our arcade experience. So to improve our arcade experience, we're going to use something called the Ion iCade. Um, it's a Bluetooth controller which emulates key presses by buttons and joystick. Uh, so first thing we do, we're going to open up the casing, put our iPad in, close it up, and then we need to put the controller into pairing mode so we can add it to the iPad. This is better done by holding the four bottom buttons and the top button on the right. Uh, for a few seconds. Um, down in the bottom right, just, just past out of shot, um, it, there's a little light that's blinking away. I'm going to go to my settings here. On the Bluetooth, it shows up as the Ion IK game controller. Select that to pair it up. It's going to ask me to put a code in uh, of 6915. This code will vary from uh, each time you pair it. Uh, you only have to pair it once when, uh, once it's paired, and then it's set. Uh, to enter that, we need to press the corresponding buttons to do that. So 6, which is this button, 9, which is this one, 1 is up, and the 5 is this one here, and then it's enter key, which is this one here. Okay, and that's just connected, it means they're paired up. Now if we go back into Gridly, we can select option and settings and in here we've got a bunch of settings so we can display what ROMs we want we can say how it's displayed so either uh, when it's in portrait mode we can have CRT effects and scan lines and then in full screen uh, so we're going to want it full screen because we're using these controls rather than the on-screen controls and then we're going to have to select an external controller um, which is an iCade which is what this is it also sp supports the ICP and the impulse controllers as well That's done. So now up and down, it selects the ROMs that we need it. Um, that button's select the game. And that's loading up. This is the coin button, and it's the button. So you can see now, with the controller, I have not control of the little bomb jack here. much nicer than using the touch controls. The good thing about the arcade it also works in landscape mode. So I just gridly there. And we'll put this in landscape. And we'll cancel that. Let's try Street Fighter 2. So let's select the game. Um, as I said before earlier, the buttons are mapped correctly, so we want these so the punches on the top, kicks on the bottom. I'm going to press the coin and start together. And I'm going to set input for this game and select the correct buttons. So button one is so light punch, button two, medium punch, button three, heavy punch, button four, light kick, button five is uh, medium kick, and button six is heavy kick. So now the buttons are correct, buttons are now mapped correctly for Shoe Fighter. So if we start the game. Round one, fight! Shoe running on an okay. arcade.
So in the emulator you get a couple of video effects to make it look a little bit more authentic. You've got scan lines and CRT effects. And then these are set in here. I turn CRT and scan line on. Possibly you can see this. That's quite nice. It's uh, a little bit more real. So that's how you set up main emulator on your iPad with the iK controller. If you have any questions feel free to post some comments and I'll try to answer them as best as I can.